Good. Make some noise if you're having a good time. <laughs> cool. Make some noise if you're worried I'm not actually going to be funny and you're going to have to polite fake laugh while I talk about my period. <laughs> okay. He knows. Um, come here. No, I'm Fiona. Um, or as my friends call me, could be a six out of ten if she had a nicer arse. Um, I told that joke recently and a guy down the back was like, you're just a four. <laughs> so we went on like a few dates and then <laughs> I left it because I love myself, you know? Uh, thank you. Uh, so yeah, no, I do stand up to get a bit of attention off my boyfriend. Uh, he's a comedian as well. And he likes to get on stage and pretend I don't exist because uh, he can only make jokes about being alone and wanking. I don't really fit into that, so it's hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, they can't get enough of me. No, cool. Uh, there's more where that came from. But uh, no, I actually, I don't know if things are going to work out between us, to be fair. Uh, it's quite sad. Maybe happy for some of you. But uh, no, we kind of have nothing in common. He's really, really, really big into wrestling. Uh, whereas I would be really, really big into people who've actually lost their virginity. <laughs> so I don't know. But, um, <laughs> but I actually, I don't know if things are... Yeah, he, I don't know how he's so comfortable with talking about wanking on stage. Like, he usually... <laughs> He usually can't even think about his penis without um, crying <laughs> and or quickly taking to Tinder to passive aggressively write down what height he is. <laughs> We're in an open relationship. That's a joke. No one in Ireland has enough self-esteem to be in an open relationship. <laughs> but uh, are there any couples in? A few couples? Wow. <laughs> Anyone? You guys? You guys? You guys? You guys? You're, you're with both of them. That's, we love that. That's what science is all about. Are you on a date with either of them? OK. Anyway. Oh. Wow, sir. But anyway, OK, no one here uh, is in love. That's fine. But. Uh, like, when me and my boyfriend first met, we used to go on dates, we used to make an effort for each other. And I know the term in the day can be confusing. Because you know in Dublin, to meet means to kiss. Do you remember that from back in the day? If anyone needs that used in a sentence, it's, yeah, I have met someone. It was at my auntie's mobile home in Wexford and she doesn't have Bebo. <laughs> Any, what else do people call it? There's me, there's shift. Sorry? Feek? Yeah, no, that's a good one. That takes me back to 2004. Um, meet, shift, feek. Up north, it's stick a bag over their head and shoot them in the kneecap. <laughs> I need to stop telling that joke soon because the raw are kind of back. Um, <laughs> but no. So yeah, we, we used to make an effort for each other. You know, things were nice, like you do with whoever you're on a date with in this room, which I will try to figure out. But. Uh, you know, yeah, things were nice, but recently we were at a gig and there was a comedian on stage talking about her nipple hair. And I was like, <laughs> poor girl. <laughs> Can't relate, you know? Until I feel this sympathetic pat on my back. Turn to the side and he's there like, see, you're not the only one. Uh, so that's how I found out I had two back and nipples. Come on! <laughs> That's, uh, that tops the whole night. Um, but no, I think, to be fair, I think that was actually his kind of version of Dirty Talk. And I can't get mad at him for that, because Dirty Talk famously is not an Irish man's game. Um, back in the day, Dirty Talk was just code farmers used to let each other know their potatoes have been affected by the blight. <laughs> That's where the phrase comes from. Um, yeah, it's not really our vibe. Like, I used to go out with a guy, and every time we're about to have sex, he'd just get very close to me and say, I'm going to destroy you. 
<laughs> and now looking back, did he mean career-wise? Because <laughs> it's been a hard couple of years for me. Uh, yeah, so... We're having a nice time, aren't we? It's good, it's nice. I don't mean to take the tone down, but I should let you know I am a feminist. Um, except when I have to carry stuff, because obviously, fuck that. Uh, but no. I know feminism's not always that popular. I know that because I've Googled feminist porn. Have any of you guys ever done that? No? Sexist. Um, so, I don't know, no, one person, one stan. Uh, I Googled it because I just felt like watching porn where the girl wasn't slapped in the face with a massive dick just one time. <laughs> Call me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I type it in. Um, Every video that comes up, every single video. Stupid feminist bitch gets taught a lesson by her four angry stepsons. <sighs> Smacked in the face with four dicks. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, but guys, shocking, shocking. That woman was kind enough to welcome not only one, but four stepsons into her family, and that's how they repaid her. <laughs> Sorry, I get really caught up in the narrative of porn. I'm not a great viewer. But uh, I've always been a moany little bitch. Ever since I was a small child, it's actually moany little bitch is my confirmation name. Uh, <laughs> But no, since school, like a little bit of background about me, I literally was cast as a snowflake in the primary school nativity. So I've been well set up. That joke never gets a laugh, ever. Um, <laughs> one time I told it, and silence, obviously. And then for some reason, I just repeated the line. And this guy in front row stuck his hand up and was like, I don't think they got it. I was like, Dad, I'm at work, please. <laughs> But um, yeah, they cast me as a snowflake. They were like, can't cast her as Mary. She keeps saying she should have been granted free, safe and legal access to an abortion. It's not gonna <laughs> work. Some no voters down the back. <laughs> Any Catholics in, actually? I suppose they wouldn't really be at the science night. They don't really care. <laughs> But no, I have a weird relationship with Catholicism myself in the sense that I only really feel like a Catholic when there's Protestants around. <laughs> Do you guys get that? Um, I actually lived in Prodland there for a year, uh, as is its official name. I left to escape the seagull problem here. <laughs> Don't know if any of you guys have ever been personally victimized by a seagull in the mean streets of Dublin. <laughs> yeah? No? You're not ready to talk about it, that's fine. Um, but listen, I left and it's hard living in London. It's hard living in another country when they try and make out like they have a big drinking culture. Cause that's our thing, you know? I don't know if any of you guys remember a picture of this guy running away from the London Bridge attacks holding a pint and everyone was like, oh, most British thing ever. I was like, okay, by most British thing ever, do you mean that pint originally belonged to someone else? Um, now that I've found out who's actually in the IRA here, I think it's my time to go. You guys have been absolutely unreal. Enjoy the rest of your night. I've been Fiona Farley. Bye. Give it up for Fiona Farley.